Hello. This is Leah from All Things Cards. Let's see what we're making today. We've got these white, uh, I think it's Bristol paper. And I stamped gold, pretty gold. I stamped silver and I did clear. Which, let me just check this light here, see if you can see it. Well, that's the best I can do. It there it is. Clear. Okay. So I've got my oxide inks here. I've done some already in pinks and purples and blues. So I'm gonna try greens and blues and purples. Why not? So start with our gold paper. Remember where the camera can see and where it can't. I have my water brush here and my Amazon. I don't know, can you see that? Is it blurry? It looks blurry to me and I can't tell. Do you like me or not, camera? I got these from a set of five for ten dollars on Amazon.com. Before I even ever had these. My dollar store had them. I, know, I think they were more expensive at my dollar store than they were at Amazon when I got them from there. Okay, so, oh, paper towel. I also want to make sure I have a piece of paper towel handy. We're dabbing the water off. I've seen, I saw, uh, Christina Werner do something similar to this where she painted all the pretty little colors into the little things and then took them off with a little brush but for me that would take too long and I need to make the most of every minute so let's just dig in here uh, lightest colors first right let's go with a blue and a bright green oh won't come off. There we go. Blue and bright green. We'll take one for blues and then one for greens. So we'll start with just doing a circle. I did wash my brushes this time, so I'm quite proud of myself. I'm hoping that they will not bleed other colors all over the place. One circle down. Whew. Put that over there with my blues so I don't get mixed up. And the greens. Get this big one. I'm not worrying too much about going out of the edges. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm not. Okay, so that's my green one. And then I don't have a light purple. I only have the little violet seems to be the little color. The other one's more of a pinky purple, so let's go with this one. I wanted more of a darker bluey purple. Let's just tack this one here. Tack this one here. I haven't done one that's not in the same color shades yet, so this is gonna be the first one. It's not the same hue. So let's see. Ooh, I can get a light purple out of this maybe. Hmm. I don't know what purple and green would look like. <laughs> Might as well just stay here with the blue. There you go. Okay, purple. And then I've also got some blueprint sketch. I'll use a different one. I don't really need my little baby bluey one turning this dark. Okay, blue and green are nice together. Maybe not this blue and green. It seemed to form some kind of a muddy green there. It's probably because that green is still wet. That's how I roll. Okay, it's getting hot. Turn on the fan. I don't know where 
where you are in the world, but summer has hit, at least for a couple of days here in the Vancouver area. We've had a very odd summer with rain every couple of days. We usually get like a week or two straight stretch of heat and a lot of wildfires, forest fires up north. But there's not many forest fires as far as I last report that I had. I was talking to a gentleman up in the Kelowna area and I was asking him if they had many and he said this year there have been a lot less. And I'm wondering if that has to do with all the rain that we've been getting down here. So I imagine they've been getting something similar up there. Okay. How's that looking? That's not looking too bad. I really think it could use a pink. What do we think? Do we think maybe I had a not a seedless blah blah blahs. Oh, there it is. Pick raspberries. I hate raspberries, but and I won't pick them. But let's go with this. Uh, we have a little stamp. Oh, got the biggest one. Goodness gracious. Okay. It's going to be huge. But that'll look nice there, I think. We'll just keep going. These brushes are really great for stencils. I watched a comparison video. And these were the crispest ones when coming to when used the stencils. Very, very nice. I bought my original one to use with watercolor painting to see if I could use it with that. Never did use it or try it, but I bought it a long time before the, the life-changing brushes came out. Wish I'd thought of it. Why is it we never think of these things till somebody else thinks of these things? Okay. Okay. Now, what to put in those areas? I don't want to touch the green with the pink. I can help it. I wonder if the spun sugar, spun, spun sugar would look nice in there as a little bit of a background filler. I've used everything except my peeled paint one or my broken china. Hmm. Let's try some broken china. Anybody remember which one of these was for blue? That might have been it. Just trying to fill in that area. It's the other ones. It changes them a little bit. Anything to make this one look better. I tell you. Don't like that color. Uh, let's go over here too. Right over here. Now, maybe that baby blue to go in there. Tumble glass, whatever. Goodness. Nothing like dogs to startle you awake. There's not much to say while you're concentrating this hard, is there? What do you want to talk about? I don't know. Did you know that they made icing bags? I think it's the... Oh, I can't remember the guy's name. He's a cake maker. Does a lot of cakes. <laughs> I can't remember. Cake Boss. Oh, that could be it. They sell icing bags, and on the outside of the icing bags, it says, Don't talk to me, I'm icing here. Or it says, I'm icing here. I think it says, Don't talk to me, I'm icing here. Quite hilarious. Because if any of you make cookies or do anything with cookies, you know that when you are icing, with royal icing, and someone starts to talk to you, you just yell at them, <laughs> Shut up, I'm icing. So I just love that. It's just funny. Oh. I managed to say something during the boring parts while I do this. Sorry. 
I would fast forward if, hey, I was really talking lively here, so I'm not going to fast forward through my chit chat. If I was really boring, well, I might be really boring. Oh, where's my water bottle? Goodness. Our mister. He's dead. I just want to clean this up so I don't put my hands in it. You ever do that? <laughs> and then get it all over the card? Or the thing project you're working on? <laughs> Never, right? Never. Okay, let's get rid of that one. Okay, so we got this muddy thing. Now I was gonna take a used baby wipe, not on a baby's butt, but used like this, okay? You don't get any ideas. And I'm just gonna quickly go over it. Well, it was really wet. I did not anticipate that. This is, project is now taking a new turn. <laughs> it's a very wet one. The one I did before was very dry, I guess. Very light, very light hand. Very, very light hand to bring up my silver again. Goodness. Okay, covered in, but not too bad. Let's dry that bit. Let's get our white. Now what I did before is I made a decision that this one, say this circle here, this part here is not part of any other circle where all the edges are part of other circles. So what I did was I just went in here with my, I'll get it wet first, went in here, and believe me, speed is not your friend <laughs> while you're working on this project. See? Not your friend. You just add water and then take it off. You just have to figure out some sort of pattern because otherwise you're just going to be doing the whole entire thing and what's the point of actually covering it with ink in the first place. So once you make a determination of what you want to take away, where your pattern is going to be, then you just start going at it. Oh, I went out of the line. Oh well. We're going to do this whole circle here. And maybe that part over there where I just blabbered on it. So we'll just stay away from there with my paper towel. Oh, somebody dripped over there too. I guess I have to take responsibility for that because it's on camera. And then this little bit right here. There. That's not too bad gives it a little bit of distinction. We gotta do something over here, it's very heavy. So, I like to take this little arch, I don't know if you can see it, there's like a, an arch there. Very cute little arch, so let's just take that off. Let's clean off our brush. control if you use like a brush and water but if that's what you want to do go for it doesn't matter to me you do whatever it makes it easier for you I'm more about getting it done as fast as I can so that I don't have to sit very long I always find I have a lot of pain when I sit so I can get through this as quick as possible. I'll do it. Attention to detail. <laughs> Not my forte. Okay. Oh, did we do anything over there already? I don't know, but that's really ugly. Did not like that color. That was the sketch something. heavy too dark. So 
what projects are you working on? Are you getting ready for Christmas cards? Are you working on birthday cards? You know, I'd really like to see what you're working on. If you came to our Facebook group called All Things Cards, there'll be a link in the description. You could show me the projects you're working on. Or if you were to take this idea and even change it up even more, come away with something else. I would love to see that too. I think that would be really cool to inspire someone. Can you imagine it? Inspiring people. It's a wonderful thing. Okay, are we almost done? That's what I feel like in most of my projects. Are we almost done? Because I'm really getting bored. sad if my voice is too low for you to hear. Hubby's home, making dinner. Dogs are running around. I'm trying not to be too loud. But if you can't hear me, what's the point, huh? <laughs> I don't like doing voiceovers. It's a lot of video editing that's really boring. I'm sorry. Okay, well, it's not exciting, but it's done, I think. Look at this one. I haven't done this one yet. Clean off my little brush. Aren't these things amazing? Anyways, I don't know why I'm holding on to that the whole entire time. Let's see. Any thoughts? How about just that big circle there? It's going to get a bit wetter. It feels a little dry. There we go. the lines. I really don't like coloring either. I find if I hold on to a pencil or a pen or anything for too long my hand goes numb. So everything is about how fast can I do this? That seems to me this is going pretty fast. What do you think? Little bits of mistakes aren't going to matter if these aren't wedding cards. <laughs> I don't think they are wedding cards. It's not planned on being a wedding card. Boy, am I in screen or what? Hi, camera. You need to work with me. There we go. There we go. Okay, which one was I doing? I don't know. It's so faint, I can't tell. Oh, oh. Good one to choose, Leah. I don't want to make any of them too dark because too light. It's already quite light. Let's just get that really wet. Pull that up. get really loud because we went out of the line. My granddaughter can probably color better than I can. And when she's older, she can do this and I can watch. That'd be better. There, I think that's got it. What do you think? Should I give up? Because there's not really too much difference in... Oh, where is it? not really too much difference in that one. Not like this one, where it's darker and you can see obviously where <laughs> it's obvious to me. It might not be obvious to you where things have come off. Ah, dogs. We got the blue one. It's quite pretty. A little bit of a blot there. And then, that one looks nice too. Oh, I'm glad they're in camera. And then there's the one that we created together which is okay. I still hate this corner. 
That's where I could put the sentiment. Uh, let me cover that up. I've got some others to do, but I will not bore you with the rest of this. If you'd like to try this technique, go for it. If you think it's rubbish, I understand. Didn't I have another purple one? Oh, that is the other purple one. But it's what I was working on, so I thought I would show you. Hope you have a great day. You can get out of this heat if you're in heat. And uh, visit us on Facebook. May God richly bless you. Thank you for watching today. Bye-bye. If you'd like to see more of our videos, please consider subscribing to our channel and ring the bell if you'd like our new posts to show up in your YouTube feed. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed seeing these cards as much as I enjoyed making them.